so much for tuning back in. I'm excited about this one. I just got done a lesson, a lesson with a player that had a little bit of a slide and buckle in his swing. So a slide and buckle simply means, you know, if, if I'm set up right here, my hips move side to side, right? They move side to side like this. And you can see when it moves side to side, my spine angle goes forward, right? And then if I buckle going this way, it goes way back here like this. And then that momentum going forward, it kind of leads me to buckle that lead leg like this. And then it's like a late transfer to the swing. And so I had this drill. We're going to simply draw our right foot back. Okay, now let me show you what I mean by that. Just draw the right foot back just like this. Now, we're going to work on the backswing first, of course. That gets us to open up that right hip or turn that right hip. Okay, just like that. Now that's going to force a couple things, a real wide chest turn and a really good hip turn going back. Okay. Now the key to this is to just pay attention to the downswing. Okay. So when we do this, we go back, we turn the hip back. Now on the downswing, okay, on the downswing, I want you to envision a rubber band tied from my left hip to my right wrist, okay? Now the goal is to create tension in that as I come down, okay? So you can see that forces my chest to kind of stay back and my hips rotate. When that tightening of the rubber band comes through, then we can extend that lead leg just like this and finish the swing. Now you can see how that will become a little bit more explosive. It helps the hips kind of separate from the upper body as you're coming down. So if I, again, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna look at it from down the line. We're gonna super shut the stance. Okay, now at first, I want you to just put your right hand down here, just like this. Feel that big turn in the hips. Now feel that little separation in the hips first. Feel that little separation in the hips. That lowers this hand, and then you can extend that lead leg as you come through. I call it an extending or a posting into that lead leg. And like I said, while doing this, you can really get the feel of an explosive swing coming through. Now let's do it again, a draw back, and all I want you to do is simply draw your foot back, cross your arms just like this. I want you to go ahead and repeat with me. Feel that big chest turn going back, that turns that right hip. Feel a little separation or a pulling in that rubber band here. And then extend that lead leg up as you come through. Extend that lead leg up when you come through. Extend that lead leg when you come through. And just finish. Okay. Let me grab my club. Draw back. Open that hip. Feel that little separation in the hip, just like this. Swing it to impact, which is right there. Post that lead leg. You can see right now my hips are like 45 degrees open. My chest a little bit more than 30. And then I finish. Let's try it with a golf club, just the motion. Okay, so back, turn going back, feel that little separation. You can see where that lowers my hands a little bit. And then explode that lead leg up, finish nice and balanced.
Let's try it again. Draw back. Big turn back. Feel a little separation in the hips. Extend that lead leg. Finish. So many players that have this side to side motion. Like I said, if you bump going back, bump going through, you're going to see this a lot. Hands go real high. And then if I bump coming through, it's getting that steep pull down angle. And then like that. So you're going to hit a lot of pulls and then pull slices too. Okay? So let's get this motion really well. And if you have to start with that drawback position first, through, now plant that left leg, finish this one. If you have to start with the drawback first, start with that first, slowly make your way up into just the normal stance. Let's go to the drawback here, rehearse it a couple times. That's where you explode that lead leg up and just finish nice and balanced. Okay, let's try it again. Here, draw it back. Big turn going back, right hip open. Little separation here. Plant that left leg up. Come on, we're getting that buckle out of our slide and buckle out of that swing. Nice and balanced right here. And then, like I said, it's really good to practice this drawback with feeling that little tension in the resistance band coming down. And then square your feet up like a normal setup and see if it works. Okay, and if it doesn't, just try it again. Just keep trying it. And when I hit a regular shot like that, that's all that I was feeling was this, opening up that right hip, Tightening up that resistance band, plant that left leg, finish the swing. All right, guys, give this a try. Let me know how it goes.